Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson, contributor for FreedomOutpost.com. I wanted to address with you today, uh, as we know, the mainstream media pundits constantly are, are touting that we need to back Turkey. We all know the Obama administration and those in our Congress and Senate have decided that they were going to arm, fund, and train the quote-unquote FSA or Free Syrian Army, which is ISIS in Syria. We know they are arming, training, and funding the terrorists. We do know that uh, Turkey did an act of aggression when they shot down the Russian fighter, and then in a worse act, when the rescue helicopter came to save the pilots, they shot the rescue helicopter as well on the Syrian side. So as the um, mainstream media wants you to support Turkey because poor little Turkey is being attacked by Russia, which is such a false narrative, it's, it's almost sickening and I don't see how anybody who has done any research can support that. Uh, it's only an attempt to overthrow Assad, to steal their resources. Turkey has been involved since the get-go of the beginning and uh, ISIS has been stealing the natural resources out of Syria and delivering it straight uh, to Turkey. U.S. government's involved, Saudi Arabia's involved, Qatar is involved, Turkey's involved, and they all just have their hands in the pie. Their main goal is to steal natural resources and to overthrow Assad. Why do they want to overthrow Assad so bad when he used to be our ally? Because he will not go along with them uh, taking over his country. He will not go along with them um, destroying and stealing their natural resources and depriving the people of what belongs to them. He will not go along with establishing that central banking system that the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds and all the elite bankers which are supported by our corrupt politicians in Washington DC want so badly in Syria. So that's why I am getting on video. I want to show you some breaking news. This came out of the Sacramento Bee. This was published obviously December the 14th. A Texas plumber sues dealer after truck seen in a jihadist photo. Oh, I know you're shocked, right? Because we know that the United States of America has been backing these terrorists. Here is just another bit of proof for that. Good for this Texas plumber, by the way. I hope, I wish he would have asked for a lot more than a million dollars, to be honest with you. A Texas plumber is suing a truck dealer after a vehicle emblazoned with his company's name and phone number and carrying gun-toting fighters appeared in a photo circulated by purported Islamic extremists. Mark Oberholzer filed a lawsuit against Charlie Thomas Ford, LTD, of Houston, Texas, last Wednesday. Oberholzer wants more than $1 million to cover the damage to his company, Mark One Plumbing, in Texas City since the photo was circulated on social media in 2014. Oberholzer says he received death threats and over 1,000 phone calls since the photo appeared online. The lawsuit says the dealer didn't remove the Mark 1 decals as promised before shipping the vehicle to Turkey. The dealer didn't return a call seeking comment on Monday. The Associated Press has not been able to verify the photo. Well, isn't that just nifty? Not only does this show more ties of Turkey supplying the ISIS terrorists, which have been beheading women and children and men across the region, this dealer, Charlie Thomas Ford LTD of Houston, has also sold vehicles to Turkey. I think the ones that needs to get phone calls is Charlie Thomas Ford and ask them why they are selling vehicles to a country that they know supports terrorism. 
I think we need to stand for this Texas plumber who is filing this lawsuit, and we need to get the word out. So I wish him the best of luck. Good for him. And thank you for taking your stand. You know, people across this nation are taking a stand in so many ways. It is phenomenal. It is amazing. And it is historical to watch. We are coming after you corrupt politicians. You corrupt non-government organizations. You individuals who support terrorism, whether it be via funding, training, arming them, however, or supplying them with means of transportation in order to murder in mass humanity. We're coming after you. We do not need weapons to come after you. Our dream is not for that. Our dream is to see you in those pretty shiny handcuffs in which you so deserve. Because make no mistake, it will happen. It is happening. And it is happening across our nation in mass. It is happening in mass. And I am so proud of all you individuals who are standing out, speaking out, fighting back in a lawful manner. I'm very proud of you and continue to do what you're doing. Continue to unite with the people because we the people are the power and the corrupt won't last forever and anytime you shine truth into the darkness it is a beacon of light and the darkness has to fade. That's what happens when the light is lit. So until next time Thank you for listening. Please share the video to get this information out to individuals as to what's going on and more Texans are standing up and fighting back. God bless you. Until next time, please give me a thumbs up or thumb down. If you like the kind of information that I am giving you in these videos, share the video to get the information out. Semper Fidelis, God bless, and good night.